What's going on, world? It's your boy Gemini Brown here, back with another episode of Nalo Kicking Knowledge. Today we've reached the end. We'll be finishing up our Why with the Zodiac Signs Cheat series. And of course, we'll be finishing with the sign of Pisces. What is Pisces? Pisces is ruled by Neptune. I also like to say it's ruled by Jupiter as well. Um, it's, it's a very misunderstood energy. It's originally connected to the 12th house of secrets, of spirituality, of imagination, of, you know, uh, isolation, okay? Um, it, it relates to um, ultimate compassion, okay, as well as extremes. So Pisces can really, if they love you, they love you unconditionally. If they hate you, they hate you just the same. So... What would make a Pisces cheat? Let's get into it. If you've been following the series, you know for all the water signs, we've said that, you know, the water signs would require like this, this uh, large amount of attention within like relationships, okay? And it's very easy to see why, you know, like you're making a, an emotional uh, connection with the person. So, you know, Whatever type of mood you know you're in, you want to share that emotion with with that individual. So with all the water signs, they require lots of attention, okay? And I would say like emotional feedback. Pisces is a very interesting one because um, of all the water signs, it's the most romantic. And uh, I'm not going to say most sexual, but romantic in the sense of or, or, or like values intimacy, okay, and, and everything that leads up to sex, okay. So what happened with, with Pisces is like because like the twelfth house is just so damn vast, and you know it's just kind of like a dark hole. I say this in a good way. The Pisces person kind of always feels alone okay so just imagine if they're with the person they're with their person right and they still feel alone can you imagine how they feel without that person so it's this trick with Pisces whatever the planet is it, it creates this void which can be an illusion you know this is why you know with, with Pisces energy you need something logical or something that's going to ground you in reality all right and you know the opposite sign of pisces is virgo which represents just just that remember i told you like virgo virgo would need the 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 affair the most right pisces so with, with the polarity being pisces like pisces is all about the affair because it leads to this thing about romance and attention so let's we're, we're trying to work with these these are two major things right so Pisces can have an ideal relationship let's not forget Venus is exalted here all right so they they can have the ideal relationship but what it is is like the void that Pisces creates leads the person to feel like nothing is ever good enough right not in the sense of like oh I don't want what you have, but like, I'm just not satisfied. I know, you know, we just made love and, you know, we both climaxed and we're feeling close. But some way down the line, Pisces is going to go back to feeling like I need to, you know, feel this emptiness. This is a very, very key component to why Pisces would cheat. And ultimately, like, what I really want to say is like, it's kind of natural for for them in a sense like to, to go out there and be seeking you know love and affection and attention okay so if they really get a partner that that's not doing that obviously is going to propel them in that direction even further however like I said Pisces can kind of still have the ideal relationship and that still not be good enough so in a way, because and you know it's it's connected to this twelfth house of you know secret affairs and you know 
things behind the scenes, they're always going to be enticed by the idea of, of an affair. It's just something that is natural for them. Okay? The next reason um, a Pisces would cheat can, is like be for liberation. Alright? Now, here's the weird thing. I'm telling you, 12th house is so weird. Like, what you think you know, you really have no idea. So, say we have a, uh, someone with Venus and Pisces. I'm going to use Venus and Pisces because uh, it's just a really good example. Alright? Um, someone who has Venus and Pisces and they are, they have been, say they, they met their spouse when they were very young. Right? This is the first, you know, first person they've ever been with. Decided to get married, and you know they've been doing it ever since. There will come a time, right? Venus and Pisces, or other Pisces position, but let's just use Venus, um, where the person, right, at one point, or like when they were, you know, getting with this person, they may have just been um, entertaining that that personality level kind of Venus and Pisces. That oh, I want my ideal lover. You know, I want, I want them to look like this. I want them to have this type of job, be a part of this type of culture, right? And, and you know, really build a relationship off of, um, off of that. You know, those ideals, having those ideals met. But say it gets for a long period of time, that eventually wears off, okay? Now, let's say this, this Pisces person starts digging into the higher aspect of their um, of their energy and you know they, they they become quite spiritual you know very um, humanitarian compassionate and things like that what happens is you know they'll start to see the reality of what their relationship really is and this can be a, a myriad of different ways the person could be in a very um, limited marriage where you know it's based on only the fact that, oh, we've been together this long, so we're both complacent and we're not going to go, you know, break this up, right? You can be living off that, or it can be one where sexually they're not on the same page, or, you know, this new interest, this person is not growing with the Pisces individual. So the Pisces individual is ascending, right? They're coming to the higher octave of, 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 their, of their energy, and... What happens is they're going to meet someone who spiritually invigorates them. Someone who, right, remember that their spouse represents everything they wanted on that personality level, right? But now that they've reached the soul level, their partner may not match that vibration because they're not ascending with them. So they'll meet someone, whether it be like a teacher type, um, you know, someone they they help personally, right? Or someone who helps them, right? And the affair starts off from this. But the liberating aspect of it is that the person could have lived their life believing like, yo, I'm supposed to be playing by the rules. I'm not supposed to have an affair. I'm supposed to be a good spouse and da-da-da-da. So what actually happens is the affair represents like a, a spiritual liberation, a let a letting go. You know what? I'm letting go from what I know and I'm just going to get lost into, you know, this affair. And what happens more times than not, like I said, this Virgo Pisces axis is very interesting. I'm not going to sit here and say I condone, you know what I'm saying, cheating, but I would, just from what I know, it's needed sometime, you know, and, and, and it's going to be brought into, it's going to be a part of it, okay? So wherever, like, and the next thing I wanted to say, okay, regarding Venus and Pisces as well, is the next thing. The energy is a secret energy. It's things that happen in, behind the scenes, right? Now, Someone who has Mars and Pisces, they're, they're naturally going to feel like, man, I think it's cool to have sex with, you know, um, people I'm not supposed to or, you know, 
other people's spouses, right? The, the Mars is malefic. He may be driven to, to participate in these kind of activities. Check Mars in the 12th as well, okay? Or Mars in the 8th. But um, the next part about Venus and Pisces, more times than not, I would say at least 7 out of 10 Venus and Pisces have met, even if they're with this partner now or whatever, you, the, the person that they, they have connected with the, in the most significant way romantically, more than likely that relationship will or has started through an affair. All right? And it could be something like, oh, you were with your spouse and, you know, I'll wait for you to, you know, leave your spouse and then we come together. It, these things play out over and over again. The next part about it is that, you know, like Venus and Pisces, they can just be, very, just like Aquarius, be connected to the person they're having an affair with in a larger way. This is also part of the liberation. So, like, the person could share a lot of the same, you know, beliefs as them, right? The, what if they both, you know, are into tantric sex? It's tantric sex is not something you can have with everybody, all right? But ultimately, like, Pisces just, Pisces are going to cheat because they're going to have the opportunity to. And in some cases, it represents a form of liberation for them all right so guys this is my episode for today I hope you enjoy this was a cool ass series to do I suggest going back into the series and just listening listening especially like by element right listening from beginning to end and just to understand the 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 impact of the energy and the influences on the individual. All right? If you haven't subscribed to my channel, feel free to do so. If you need a reading, email me. Until next time, peace.